Hi. So I have mixed my cake mix according to the baking instructions provided in my cake toolkit. And I've divided my batter evenly between my two six inch cake pans, which I prepared using either a nonstick baking spray or butter and flour. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you the level that you should stop filling up your cake pans. With your particular recipe, you should be able to get a nice even split. There is a little bit left here, not a lot, but it might be tempting to try to scrape as much as you can into the cake pans. I'm going to highly recommend that you don't do that and you stop at about two thirds of the way full. You know, I'm, you, you don't need to measure it with a ruler or anything like that, but it looks like this, about two thirds of the way full. Um, and the reason for that is if you fold it, fill it up all the way to the top, your cake as it rises will overflow. Um, if you are not very experienced with baking or you just haven't done too much of it before, uh, you want to avoid that. That's how you will get a big molten lava cake flowing and a big disaster in your oven. Sometimes, like if you can see here, sometimes I even accidentally fill it up a little bit higher than two thirds and this one's slightly higher. And so it's always a good idea to put your cake pans with cake batter onto a baking sheet like this. And the reason for that is one, easy to transfer in and out of the oven when you're putting them in and when you're taking them out. But also if you do have any spills, it goes onto your baking sheet and not directly into your oven. So big tip of this video, fill your cake up to about two thirds of your cake pans and don't fill them all the way up to the top.